What's up guys, Fabian here, back with another video. Um, it's been a while, I know, um, but uh, anybody still watching my um, videos, thanks for sticking around. Um, it's, it's, for me, it's, I enjoy making videos. Um, I just am really lazy, so you're gonna have to forgive me about for that. Um, but I enjoy making videos because I enjoy collecting and I enjoy showing off uh, my collection and what I picked up. And I don't mean showing off as in like, oh, you know, I got this figure and you don't. I mean like, I like to showcase them. But now that that's outside of the, uh, now that that's out of the way, um, here we have the Black Ranger. Um, I love <laughs> my guinea pigs making noise. Sorry about that, but I love these figures. Um, so far, I only have the green and the red ranger, aside from this guy. So, the collection's pretty small. I uh, plan on getting the blue and the pink and the yellow ranger um, pretty soon. Um, but yeah, now the packaging. I love the packaging on the SH Figure Arch figures. Um, you got the figure, you got the window of the figure, you got the figure itself, like a big shot of the figure. The Mighty Morphin Power Ranger logo. Um, the 20 year. Celebration. Got the Bandai. Got the Black Ranger. You know, the warning up there. Side, you got the Black Ranger again on the back. Just kind of got the figure in different poses, and uh, which is um, pretty cool because the figure is pretty articulated. Um, speaking of, like out of the whole line, like all the figures are articulated. Um, the box isn't that big. I personally prefer smaller packaging. You know, you don't need that much packaging to show off. Um, this little small packaging just pretty much just shows off everything that it needs to. It does its job, and it shows off uh, what it needs to. So, I like that. Um, so, now that that's out of the way, let's crack this bad boy open, and uh, we will be back. <laughs> so, before I bust this guy out completely... Um, I just want to show them inside the blister card um, and uh, here you have the figure you have his power axe the little stinger um, gun thing I don't know what it is and then his power blade or whatever it is uh, I'm not sure and then multiple you got uh, three sets of hands uh, not including the ones he already has on and an extra hand to make like uh, I guess a little I don't know a little hand signal I don't know then he has the power sword, the power daggers, and the power axe, his weapon in the show. So that's pretty cool. Um, comes with quite a few accessories. Uh, I don't know why they gave him the power sword or the power axe. Maybe um, they connect to the power. Uh, did I say power? <laughs> the power uh, sword and the power dagger. I don't know why they gave him that. I think maybe they, it connects to the power axe, um, but uh, we'll see in a bit. So now that I've showed you the accessories, I guess, um, I'm going to take this guy completely off. So one more second. <laughs> so here we have uh, the figure out of packaging, completely out of packaging this time. And um, you really, really have to respect the amount of detail on the helmet and how simplistic but effective the whole paint job on it is the black um and the white or i guess let me let me start off by saying the black is is um is a solid black but it's almost like a soft solid black um I'm, i don't know what i'm trying to say here i'll probably be saying mumbo jumbo throughout the whole thing but it's like a soft black but it's complemented by the white because it's it's full white but it's also a soft white as well um no gloss, no nothing, just a, a soft color palette. And uh, it, it works great for this figure. Um, so yeah, now that uh, I guess the, the paint is out of the way, let's move into the articulation. Um, so yeah, um, I do say the paint is um, a solid nine out of ten um a few scratches here and there not noticeable at all 
but uh, like on camera or anything not noticeable but um, aside from that it's an amazing paint job um, great figure um, for the articulation head goes up and down uh, a great amount um, you can have him in some pretty cool poses flying um, or falling back or doing a matrix move I don't know like you can have him dodging bullets I guess um, it rotates the arm goes at a distance a pretty good distance it rotates um, double jointed elbows the wrist swivels and it fleeks if you don't know what that means good for you um, but yeah it moves up and down um, the ab has minor crunch not too much to it the waist rotates and uh, hopefully this holster doesn't fall off this time <laughs> so yeah his legs go out um, pretty far don't want to really mess too much with it because um, his right leg tends to pop out I'm not sure if it, anybody else is having that type of problem but uh, my right leg tends to pop out but it's easy to put back in um, double jointed knees um, no rotation at the calf rotation at the ankle ankle um, goes up and down pivots and you got some tail articulation so aside from uh, aside from all that I don't think it's missing any articulation I think it has all the articulation it needs so give me a second let me put him in a cool pose or something I don't know and uh, I'll catch you guys in another split second. 